Shayla Kopis of Shayla Kopis Interiors is joining us to talk about trends and new colors and all the things she finds as she's shopping through the High Point Market. Thank you very much for doing this with us, Shayla. Thank you so much. Well, we're in the Chelsea House showroom, so let's start taking a look at all the fun new things. You haven't even all been here, so this things. is going to be raw and I, real. I'm so, so excited. So talk about uh, colors and trends and Lucite and gold and everything you're seeing. Well, I'm seeing hardware, amazing hardware, large-scale hardware, unusual hardware. Okay, this piece chest. over here is amazing. This piece is gorgeous, and we love the hardware on this piece. Yeah, gorgeous I think cabinet. one of the things that a lot of times consumers don't think about is the hardware can make the piece of furniture. This could be just a block to some people, but adding this gorgeous hardware really. Absolutely. And as it a really designer, a how, piece. exactly. And as a designer, how do you get a consumer to really think about changing some of the pieces that they're looking at? Well, as a designer, it's our job to try to get them out of the box. And, and that's what we do. And especially with pieces like this. Absolutely. And you know, you're in Arkansas. I grew up in Savannah, Georgia, live in North Carolina now. You think of it as being pretty um, traditional, but yeah. I happen to love the uh, Lucite that I'm seeing now, and I've walked around the yeah. showroom and saw it great. How are you so getting gorgeous. consumers to think about this as a look in their home? Well, it's not overbearing. So the great thing about Lucite is it's not too heavy in the space. It's very light, but it also creates kind of a boundary around certain areas, and it... Miss it. And they're comfortable. Isn't it interesting? Because you don't think of Lucite as comfortable, but it depends on the shape of the chair and how it hits the back. And so we talk a little bit about that mm -hmm. and with the upholstery, of course. All right, well, let's take a walk through and look at some of this. This is certainly glamorous, and yet this is so, this is back to nature with glam. Um, I think this is a beautiful yeah. look. It's a great combination of glam and organic. And that's what I love about Chelsea House pieces. Very elegant, traditional, and yet they have they have the glamorous feel as well, as, as you can see, with a mixture of lucite and gold, glam organic. Let's keep walking through because what is interesting again in this company in particular is you go from that glam look, but when you get in here, you have everything from uh, back to nature, but also Asian inspired. So how as a designer, do you bring in these kind of different looks into a home? Well, I sure do. I'm very eclectic, but we really have to focus on that client and that project. And that's what's so great about Chelsea House is they have a wide array of products to help us with our projects. So it's not just down one type of genre. And so can we walk through and just look at some of these fun things they've done? Well, I love this product. I it, do too. You know, the name of the product is a pagoda shelf, but I would use this for entertaining. With my book, Four Seasons of Entertaining, wouldn't this be amazing? With, for me, Layering cookies, the different food. And, and, food and I would do cookies. <laughs> I love it. And they have it in different colors. And um, again, wow. I just love the inspiration from even the peacock from all across the world. I and do too. I think that's one of the things consumers don't really understand is they want to have one look and yet you need to bring multiple looks into the home. You do that so well, so. Thank you. Let's, let's keep walking in here because I th thought these were oh, really Oh, we're in the gold. Oh my goodness, I love this piece. I, yeah, I came by yesterday and did a sneak peek. Wow, so. I need to take this home with me. <laughs> let's open it up. So what's wow. interesting about this and is finish inside. it's beautiful. It's a linen with a chinoiserie overlay and it's yes. just gorgeous. It has a glam feel to it, what you love, but it has exactly. a little bit of Exactly, but it's very tailored as well, which I love. Traditional piece and it's just showing how you can really take something and use it in a bedroom or in, in many places in the home. In line with velvet. Beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful. I thought this was pretty also with the Eglin Mise. Oh yes, it's gorgeous. So again, with that chinoiserie feel to it. The other thing that's interesting is looking at how different consumers live. So as we keep walking through here, a company like this has many different looks. How do you decide as a, con a designer what to bring into your consumer's home to make it their home, not your home? Well, it's about them. And so we actually start with a pretty aggressive intake process with our clients. And we work with them from the beginning on what they want for their project. So with the intake process, we send them quite a few documents that they're going to fill out on the front end that helps us psychologically get to know them. And as we get to know them, we understand what kind of products they're going to lean towards. So if we do our job on our intake, we're 
going to always project the right products. How do you add color into a room, Shayla? The best way to add color into the room is to pop color onto neutrals. I love popping color onto neutrals. And you've seen me before in a show house where we use the sofa as our palette. It was our canvas, our palette. And we popped in all the pattern and the color, and that was amazing how it just layers. That's how I use color. One of the things that's interesting is sometimes you can change just your lighting and it can change the look of a room. So it sure can. A lot of times people think about it for pillows. Sometimes it could be lighting. What do you do in your home to change it on a regular basis? Or do you live one way and that's it? I do not live one way and that's it. <laughs> Being a designer, you know, we love so much because we're here, we're at market. There are so many products around us. I do love to change for the different seasons in some of the areas of my home. So pillows, I love pillows, throw blankets. So I change those out during the season. And how about lighting? As, you're look, as we're looking around here, we have both uh, table lamps, we have great chandeliers, there's some floor lamps. How do you get a consumer to be comfortable to bring in the right lighting for their rooms? To get them to be comfortable, it's that intake process again. We talk about the products on the front end and we understand what their threshold is. And then we slowly get them to understand, kind of break out of that box. You know, we are all in our box in certain areas. And if we have that person we trust, then we're going to do that, right? Blue and white, I mean, what do you think about the color of the year this year, the navel from Sherwin-Williams? Well, the you know, I like some blue. <laughs> I love blue, so I was excited to see that because I've been predicting, you know, as a style spotter and trend spotter before that, I've been predicting that blue is never going to go out of style. We're going to see it for a long time. One of the things I think that we're not doing just to in this industry is talking to millennials. This, mm -hmm. to me, is a good example. You can buy um, yes. Lucite in all sorts of different places, but when you look at the thickness of this uh -huh. piece, I mean, it's just amazing how thick it is. And... It shows quality. How do you talk about quality to your clients? That's a great question. The way I bring up quality to my clients is I compare it to a car. When they go out and they buy a vehicle, they're looking for quality, right? They don't want to have to buy another car when it's time for that warranty to be up. So with furniture, it's the same thing. You're not wanting to replace every five years or a lot of times every 10 years. So we want to get a lot of like longevity out of our furniture and we talk about that and it's okay to spend more on the front end because you're not going to have to replace. And less is more. I'd rather purchase less for the space, large items, make that impact and it's amazing but you actually purchase less in the end. We've talked to some consumers who said they like go to Target every week, it's been $150, yeah, exactly. and if you look at that and you start saving and say, no, you can have those pieces you really want, and yeah. you know, working with a designer or investing in pieces you like. If, you, if something speaks to you and you've thought about it for 48 hours or a few days, that's a piece that's speaking to you. It needs to hug you and you need Absolutely. to Absolutely, you, you need to adopt it. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Let's keep walking back this way. We're seeing more chamoiserie as we walk through, Ellen. It's beautiful. This piece is gorgeous. And look at that finish. And this looks metal, but it's wood, and it's beautiful finish and beautiful, beautiful. detailing. Yeah, the detailing is amazing. I really like it. Beautiful. I do, too, and I love that they put the Ming dogs with the blue and white. Yeah. did a beautiful job it's here. It's special, mm -hmm. as well as this piece. Did you see this? That's gorgeous. And again, that's that international flair with the peacocks and... Gorgeous. Wow. And for some consumers, if they were in here, this might seem a bit overwhelming. Again, from a trained designer's eyes, you see pieces. We go right to them. Right. <laughs> it's like a dog going to a bone. Right. We come in a room and it's like, oh, that piece, this piece. There's a mirror over there. Again, it's gorgeous. It's just... I think these chandeliers are very interesting. They are. And the way that they reflect the light and then the light bounces back down. Okay, I wanted to be sure. Is it a chandelier? Yes, the light's going it back is. up, it's coming so it's back down. Of, it's, it's going up and then it reflects back down. Beautiful detailing. It's kind of an art deco feel to it. 
And so this may not be a room that someone would design for someone to live in. This is, again, it's a showroom that yes. they're trying to sell products. So there's a little bit of a difference. But I think that what you can do is help consumers understand less is more. It is. This is not showing you less is more. This no, is, this is <laughs> more and more and more and more. But this is giving you the process of finding the right pieces for your clients. Absolutely. But, I mean, aren't you seeing really the theme is chinoiserie as it's we've gone through the beautiful. showroom? Yes. And the international flavors that and the ways mm. people bring well, it in. all together. Right. So chinoiserie used to be black with colorful to see sure. it in gold now. You're glam. So yeah. it's bringing it together. Love it. Oh, wow. Look at this. All those panels are incredible. Oh, my gosh. They're shells. Yeah. So much texture. This is amazing. I would have never thought to do this. Right. This is something that... Um, Someone might consider doing on their own, but good luck with that. Look at these shells. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, good luck with getting all of them on there perfectly. Exactly, because it has fabulous detailing oh. in the way it's uh, put together. as almost a triptych. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Beautiful. So we've walked over to the Wesley Hall showroom. They have fabulous upholstery and dining sets and lots and bedrooms. And we're going to talk a little bit first about some of their dining options. Yes, and they have a plethora of options. Absolutely, Amazing. and this is cool. I love this. So I like a mixture. Don't you just love when they mix it up and with is, a banquette yes. and chairs? And this is um, actually two, a left arm, a right arm, and a separate piece. So it's a sectional mm -hmm. for dining, which I think is fabulous. It, it is fabulous, and it looks like it's quite comfortable. Come on, sit on down here. What's fun about this is when you're having friends over and you really want, or family time, and you really want to sit, this is very comfortable. And it's it something, is. kids can sit here and do their homework, but it's a great seating piece. And you don't see a lot of people doing these. So this is a great new option. You and do not, with the back. Right. You, you see a bench, but you do not see the banquet type. They've also got a number of different chairs over here, which I think is interesting. And this is a it good is example of things to look at. So Especially like large florals. Correct. This is gorgeous. Great way to add color into a room and nail head trim. Mm, it's, it's very interesting and with the painted finish. So what they're showing here is the different chairs that are available. So they're trying to show their dining chair options. And I think it's neat that they did it in all in the same fabric. Right. And it kind of helps the retailer understand what they're all gonna look like instead of different fabrics. When you put it all in the same fabric, it really helps. Talk about fabric uh, and dining and how a consumer should not be afraid of using fabric. Well. I what we say, you know, they hire us for a reason and we get them outside of that box. And we tell them, you, know, you can go to your local retailer and you can get anything that you want. And they'll, they'll, I mean, they'll, they'll sell you a basic beige sofa with beige and brown pillows. Right. But a designer is going to sell you that designer look that's that step above. And so that's when we start adding prints. And I'm into prints. I love prints. I love color, as you know. Yes. <laughs> love entertaining. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but I do tell my clients on the front end, I'm that designer. I'm not the designer for you if you want a monochrome monochromatic look. I'm right. the designer that's going to bring color to you, your home and I'm going to bring pattern. And the, a great thing to know is I'm not sure about this fabric, but that there are so many performance fabrics that really mm. look like cotton, look like silk, but they perform well. So don't be afraid of fabric, in, even in your dining area. And we're actually going to be doing a collaboration. I'm going to be doing a line with Pollywood for fabric this year, outdoor fabric and Revolution. And as you know, Revolution is a great Great huge. line. Yes, huge. Mm -hmm. Let's walk over here and look at even some um, arm differences and yes. give us some educational information. Um, like, can, can, let's walk over here. A wing chair. Yes. Why would this be or not be the perfect chair for a gentleman? This chair is a perfect chair for a room that you do not use very often. It's a gorgeous chair, but this is really a decorative chair. It's not there for it, it'll be comfortable when you sit in it, but as far as the arms, when you put your arms in the chair or on the arms, do you notice how we have nail heads on both sides? That's not going to be comfortable to a man's arms as he sits there. He likes a little bit wider of an arm, kind of a track arm feel, and up just a little higher. 
So it's important to understand how the furniture is going to be used, as you originally spoke about. Especially, I mean, the function of the furniture. Also, and I mean, I, I really think about men in the home because of the function, they like a nice depth to the sofa and they like a nice arm as well or a back that's at the correct height so that they can put their arm up. What's great about this setting, from my perspective, is we see a lot of brown leather, but look at the glam that's been put in. <laughs> all the glam, <laughs> all the gold. And also the trend of animal prints. And so there is a way to make a brown leather sofa in a room still feminine masculine at the same time. Absolutely, so it is a nice blend of the feminine and the masculine. How much do you look at fashion? You know, we're talking about animal prints and stuff. How much do you look at fashion and bringing that into the home? We always look at fashion. So as you know, the fashion industry and home industry, we follow the same trends or color trends. And so we look at that to kind of try to determine where the industry is going to go. You know, when they have fashion week. Well, right now we're in fashion week for designers. Absolutely. What's your personal style? How do you live at your house? Glam, 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 and more glam. And how I love glam, but I also like function. So I look at everything in my home for function. And let's, uh, I know you won't believe this. She's a grandmother. You live with a, exactly. But <laughs> my heartbeat. You beat. know. <laughs> my heartbeat. Um, talk about living with children, small children, grandchildren in a home and how that works so that your home can still be fabulous but you are letting everyone live there. Well performance fabrics that is the key. Performance fabrics and selecting furniture that is family friendly and pet friendly because most people have pets so you want to make sure that those pets can climb on the furniture, that children can climb on the furniture and that it's not going to wear quickly. Leather's a good example like this leather as you touch it it yeah. may start getting some scratches and you can buff it out with your hands, but for dogs, this could be something that you will start seeing their paw prints or their claw prints on. Absolutely. But there are some leathers that really are family friendly. Yes, and that's one thing that designers need to look for. And then, of course, in the end, consumers. They make sure when they're purchasing that they're purchasing products that are going to work for the function of their family. Thank you so much for being Thank with me. Thank you so me. much. This was so much fun. Love being with you. Thank you. Love being with you, Ellen. Thank Shane you. Shane from Arkansas.